This is just one of many Remembrance Day exhibits you'll see in Toronto. It pays tribute to the brave black men who for decades haven't been included in Canada's history. A Toronto woman has spent over a decade compiling their unforgettable stories and projects she's brought to the Toronto District School Board. Here is a friend of my dad. His name is Percy Critchlow. These are all Jamaicans who volunteered to fight for Canada and they're about to go overseas. Dr. Stephen Blizzard, he was a, a, a jet pilot and a flight surgeon. Do you think these stories are overlooked in Canada's history? Um, they have been, but I think now is the opportunity to go and change that. Um, you can't change the past, but you can certainly influence the future. Kathy Grant is driving this change. She's behind the Black Canadian Veteran Stories of War Facebook page, which has thousands of followers and is dedicated to documenting the untold stories of the thousands of Black men who fought for Canada at battles like Vimy Ridge and World War One and Two. The Toronto woman started the Legacy Voices project in 2005 after her father, who left Barbados to volunteer to fight with Canada during the Second World War, died. She profiles him and other Canadian veterans who, over the years, have started to get recognition in Canada. He had cancer at the time. He ended up dying a couple of months after this picture was taken, but he wanted to get recognized, and you can see the pride in his face. The school board is creating a mini documentary for teachers to use in classrooms. It's based on this exhibit and a panel of diverse speakers who spoke to over 700 students on the many contributions of racialized communities who defended Canada. Kids that look like all beautiful colors and races need to see themselves reflected in everything, right? So it's important they know their history. You know, when you know your history, you know where you are today, you can envision your future. The stories not only capture the experiences of these men on the battleground, but also highlight their unique experiences during an ugly period of time for racialized people. She's partnered with government organizations and for the first time with the TDSB to get the stories in the hands of students. A lot of the um, soldiers that we spoke to said that when they went to go and fight, they were treated like men for the first time and only when they came back to Canada. Canada, they, got, they came back to the same racism that they were trying to um, get to change. So it was only until about maybe like the 1950s that things really changed. Why is it so important for you to keep track of this history? Because it's not in it's not part of the curriculum. So growing up, when you learned about World War One, World War Two, the images you saw, you didn't see Chinese, you didn't see Black, you didn't see Sikhs, you didn't see Japanese. Uh, the only people who you would see were white people. But my dads are saying, well, there are other people who, who fought as well, and it's important that you make sure that they know that that Canada was inclusive. For a full list of Remembrance Day events and all of our Remembrance Day coverage, you can head to our website, citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.